We will continue with our selection of readings from the Corpus of Early Arabic Sources for West African History. Today's passage will be two paragraphs by Yaqut B. Abdallah al-Hamawi al-Rumi, writing in the early 1200s and paraphrasing a al muhalabi a writer preceding him by a few centuries. The reading shall focus on the ancient city of Gao, or Kao Kao in the Arabic sources, yet here he uses the name Kuku. Kuku, the name of a people and a country of the Sudan, according to al muhalabi Kuku is in the first climb, its latitude being 10 degrees. Their king, pretends before his subjects to be a Muslim, and most of them pretend to be Muslims too. He has a town on the Nile, on the eastern bank, which is called Sarna, where there are mar markets and trading houses, and to which there is continuous traffic from all parts. He has another town to the west of the Nile, where he and his men and those who have his confidence live. There is a mosque there where he prays, but the communal prayer ground is between the two towns. In his own town, he has a palace which nobody inhabits with him or has resort to except a eunuch slave. They are all Muslims. The costume of their king and his chief companions consists of shirts and turbans. They ride horses barebacked. His kingdom is more populous than that of the Zagawa, but the land of Zagawa is more extensive. The wealth of the people of his country consists of livestock. The king's treasure houses are spacious, his treasure consisting princi principally of salt. So this passage in the important corpus of early Arabic sources for West African history actually, in just two paragraphs, reveals quite a bit of information on early Songhai history. Des describing, you know, f for example, that already by the late 10th century, the kings of Kao Kao or Gao were Muslims, or at least wanted to present themselves as such. And archaeologists have verified some of, the, the, some of these descriptions here by coming across the site of Gao Sane, which appears to have been the merchant's quarter, trading quarter, for North African Mediterranean merchants. We also get a reference to the Zagawa, which is, in this case, probably a reference to the Kingdom of Kanem, which is referred to as being a much larger territory, but with a much smaller population. So clearly the uh, Kingdom of Gao, on the, centered on the Niger Bend, was linked to the, the Niger River and more fertile lands, Yet, like the Zagawa, much of their people's uh, wealth consisted of livestock. It's astonishing how much information can be gleaned from such short descriptions from these medieval Arabic sources.